Hey guys, Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. I uh, wanna show you how to make a crocheted edge around fleece. So you can make a, a cute little lovey blanket or a nice border um, on a piece of fleece to make a to make a larger blanket. Just a really quick project, nice way to uh, finish off a piece. So you're gonna need some fleece. Got this from Joanne Fabrics. Um, this is obviously, just a small piece. You can make yours um, large, blanket size. This could be like a small lovey uh, blankie or um, we can just use this as a sample. Okay, so I got my fleece. Um, you are going to need the most important part, which is the skip stitch blade. This is the original skip stitch blade, the number one. Uh, you can find it on skipstitch.com. I really recommend this brand. Uh, it, it cuts clean. Uh, it's the best one I found. There are other blades uh, sold in craft stores, uh, other places online, but I really like this one. Again, it's uh, skipstitch.com. It's a skip stitch blade, the original, number one. They come in various sizes, but uh, this one has a really nice spacing to it, uh, especially for crocheted edges. Uh, it it leaves a, a a really nice spacing between the holes when it when it cuts, so your yarn won't tear through. Uh, it comes in this orange packet. Uh, there are other ones that you can get for other projects um, on their website. And then you will need a rotary cutter. This one I got on Amazon. It's the Fiskars. Uh, I believe this is the forty five. Um, millimeter uh, rotary cutter. I will uh, put a link to this in the blog post uh, as well. And um, here's all you need to do is put your blade in here. Careful, it's sharp. Okay. Let's put this back on. I can get that in there. Come on. There we go. And then screw that on tight. And here's how these things work. You're gonna press on this handle and the blade comes out. And then to retract it, you're just gonna press on this button. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you're gonna wanna put your fleece down. You're gonna want a um, cutting mat. Uh, or something uh, so you don't cut through your table or your or your floor. And then you're gonna want a ruler. Well, you don't have to, but it makes it easier to cut a straight line. And you're just gonna line it up about a half inch to an inch. Give yourself some space on the edge here. And I think I'm gonna put it right about there. We'll use this yarn in a second. Okay, so get your blade, just line it up, and you're gonna to wanna to press hard. Just right along that ruler, press your blade down along the fabric. Okay, let's move this up, and just finish off this side, and there we go. So if you can see, we made a bunch of nice holes there all evenly spaced and let's do let's see here I've already I've pre-cut one of these sides here it's okay I'll just show you so you're gonna want to do that on each side so here's my cuts here here's my cuts here now as you can see on the corner you're probably gonna have some cuts that overlap. That's okay, you'll just use that as your corner hole. And what I like to do is to trim this corner to be rounded, just so there's not so much fabric that's gonna bunch up when we crochet around it. So I just cut it off like that. Okay, so let's just get started. I'll show you how I crochet this. We can start right here. 
You can fold the edge over just a tiny bit or it kind of naturally folds over when you start crocheting. I have a size F hook. You could go a little bigger, but I wouldn't go too big with your hook size. You don't want to tear the holes in your fabric any bigger than, than what really they already are. So I'm going to put that in. I just have some Karen Simply Soft yarn. You could use any worsted yarn. You could even use crochet thread if it's a smaller project. Okay, let's see here. And I just pull that through. And then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to go on the next single crochet chain one, next hole, single crochet, chain one. So you're just going to keep doing this throughout the whole uh, first part of your edge here. Just single crochet, chain one. And then I'm just going to show you quick when we get to the corner. Okay, let's see. I'm almost at the corner. And, okay, so we get to the corner. Well, almost at the corner, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of use, there's kind of a, there's a couple holes I can use. I'm just gonna use this one right here. That seems like a nice corner hole. So single crochet, and then I'm gonna chain two for the corner, and I'm gonna put another single crochet right in that hole. This will give us a nice corner edge. And all you gotta do is keep crocheting around single crochet chain one all the way around and when you get back to the beginning just go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around you can continue that for as long as you want and you got your edge okay so now that you have crocheted all around the edges uh, single crochet plus chain one around uh, the entire edge it should look like this that's your front that's the back See how that edge kind of, the rough edge folded over a bit? Um, so now you can, I'm just gonna join to that first stitch, chain one, and now I'm just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Just like that. You can change colors if you like. I think I'm gonna do one more row of white and then I'll change to black since I have a nice little zebra print going on. Now the only thing is, uh, I snagged my yarn. When you get to the corner, which I'm almost at, In the corner, you can do single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet, just like we did before. That way your corner won't bunch up, curl over, just kind of gives you that nice corner edge. Just keep going. All okay, so now I am at the end of my second row. I just single crocheted in each uh, stitch around. So my first row was um, single crochet into the holes, chain one, single crochet into the next hole. My second round was just single crocheting in each stitch around. Um, and now I think I'm gonna switch colors. So let's see, before I join, with the white, I am going to add in black. And I just pull through. I'm gonna chain one. And I think I'm just gonna make another round of single crochets all the way around. Just like so. Okay. So after you do as many rounds of single crochets or, you know, really whichever stitch you want, um, you can add on, oh, I don't know, a fun shell border, picots, anything you want. 
just for funsies. I think I'll do a, a pretty little uh, shell border. So I'm gonna start about um, six stitches away from my corner. And I'm gonna attach my yarn. And then I'm gonna skip a stitch and in the next stitch, I'm going to double crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's gonna be my first shell. I'm gonna skip a stitch and I'm gonna join to the next. You're gonna skip a stitch and then your next stitch, which is gonna work out to be your corner or close to. If you're not right on it, skip an extra stitch. Don't skip a stitch. Try and get a shell to land on that corner. You won't be able to tell if you fudge it. That's what I like about crochet. It uh, It's so forgiving. Oh, if I can make my... Okay, come on. All right, so we're gonna do six double crochets in the corner. One, I can get there. Two, three. Oh, you guys, that doesn't even... <laughs> Uh, I'll get this right. I lost my rhythm there. This is what happens when I talk and do video. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Skip a stitch. Join with a slip stitch to the next. Skip a stitch six double crochets in the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip a stitch, join with a slip stitch. Let's just take a look. That looks pretty cute. I like it. So um, I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. And uh, don't worry about it when you come to the other corner. Like I said, um, if you don't land uh, right on, you can skip an extra stitch. Don't skip a stitch. Just um, it looks nice though when you have a shell that lands right in that corner. Uh, I hope that's helpful. And um, please see the blog post for finished photos. RepeatCrafterMe.com.